Hello everyone! Today marks one year since release of new Pokemon Snap on Nintendo Switch. It's, so I thought I might give you my take on the game and my experience with it since then. So let's get started. Having spent just over 200 hours with it since I got out the game, I could definitely say it's always the original game, which also coming Nintendo 64 online in the future. One of my favorite games in 2021 on its own merit. While Bandai Namco definitely made some quality of life changes and updates for the head to have taken them to Hell Laboratories. I am very glad they took the not broken, don't fix approach to gameplay. If we're not trying to fill in the blank space in my photo album or complete research missions, sometimes a simple joy of taking pictures on a whim. Much like Animal Crossing New Horizons the year before, it helped provide a sense of stability and serenity and in a time was admittedly not much of a supply of either. Of course, it's a graphically gorgeous title either way. I am definitely liking the variety of visual styles in this era of the franchise, and this is no exception. I don't know about Bandai Namco taking over the main series, but I could see them as a partner going forward. The developer has a good working relationship with the Pokemon Company and with Generation 9 coming later this year. I can definitely see the artistic influence, even the early Bill Scarlet and Violet. I know this isn't the most in-depth content I've ever made, but I wanted to end this month on a positive note. Also, consider this bit of preview how I approached the Sinnoh remakes in May and Pokemon Legends Arceus in July. I've beaten the main quest on the former, getting close to beating the main quest on the latter, and getting as close as I can to 100% completion on um, both by the time you see my full reviews. I've got a solid idea what I want to say, I just need to figure out how I'm going to say it. I will see you all in May. Take care, everyone. Mm.